This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel, and I'm now answering question number seven from the Edexcel International A-Level Statistics S1 paper from January 2024. Now, this question here is about discrete random variables. And we're given the cumulative distribution of a discrete random variable um, in this table here. And we're given most of them in terms of k, where k is a positive constant. Show that k equals 4. So this is called a cumulative distribution of a discrete random variable, which is basically, um, if you had a distribution, um, a, po a, a probability distribution, this would be the probability of 1, this would be the probability of 2, this would be the probability of 3, this would be the probability of 4, okay? And a cumulative distribution is, uh, is like the summing the probabilities as you go along. So th what this represents here is the probability of getting 1. What this represents here is the probability of getting 1 plus the probability of getting 2. And this represents the probability of 1 plus the probability of 2 plus the probability of 3. And this represents the probability of all of them. Probability of 1 plus the probability of 2 plus the probability of 3 plus the probability of 4. So it's, this is like adding, summing up the probabilities as you go along. So as we know, the total probability has to equal 1. So if you want to find f4, this should equal 1 because it's the sum of all the probabilities of what was, you know, of 1, 2, 3, and 4, the whole thing. So that means that k plus 4 over 8, k plus 4 over 8 has to equal 1, which means k plus 4 has to equal 8. So therefore, k is equal to 8 minus 4, so k is equal to 4. So we've shown that k is equal to 4. That's part A. Now, part B is telling us to find the probability distribution of the discrete random variable. Okay, so we've got to find the probability distribution. So I'm going to paste the, this table here. That should help us. Okay, let's just move this a bit. And move this a bit. Okay, so we have here, this is the, the probability, this is the cumulative distribution up here. What we've got to form from this is what's called the cumulative distribution, uh, sorry, the probability distribution, okay? So it's, it's very simple, actually. This is x, and this is the probability that x equals x. This is 1, 2, 3, and 4. So what's this going to be? It's basically, let's first work out what these values are. So this is 1 over 13. We know k equals 4. So 2 times 4 is 8. 8 minus 1 is 7, so that's 7 over 26. And we know that this is, um, k is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, 5, plus three is 5 times 3 is 15, so this is 15 over 26. And of course, this is going to be 1, this has to be 1, all right? So this is called the cumulative distribution, we got to find the probability distribution. So as we know, that this 7 over 26 represents the probability of 1, which is going to be 1 over 13, plus the probability of 2. So if I subtract these two, I'm going to get what that is, because this plus this gives us that, right? So 7 over 26 minus 2 over 26 is going to be 5 over 26. So this is 2 over 26 plus 5 over 26 gives us 7 over 26. So that, this 7 over 26 represents the sum of those two up to there. And this is going to, this number represents the sum of all these three. So if I subtract those two, I'm going to get what this is. So 15 over 26 minus 7 over 26 gives me 8 over 26, which is 4 over 13. If I subtract those two, I'm going to get this, okay, um, which is 4 over 13. And then finally, so the sum of these three is represented by that number there. Okay, what goes here? What's the difference between those two? So 15 over 26 plus 11 over 26 is going to give me 1. Okay, so that's going to be the sum. And we can check. Do these add up to 1. That's 6 plus 4, which is uh, 10. Okay, plus 11, which is not 26. Something's wrong here. What's wrong here? 7 over 26, that should, that's supposed to be 8 over 26, which is 4 over... Yeah. Sorry, what did I do wrong here? My mistake wasn't adding it. 
That's one over 20, th th one over 30, that's two over 26, plus five over 26, that's seven over 26. And that's eight over 26, that's 15 over 26, plus 11 over 26, which is 26 over 26, which is one. My problem is I was adding the numerators without looking at the denominators. You have to make the no denominators the same, of course. So two plus five plus eight plus 11. Seven plus eight, 15 plus 11, 26 over 26. So we know that we're, they add up to one at least, so it looks like we're on the right tracks. So that is the probability distribution for this cumulative distribution that we had. Now it says, using your answer to part B, write down the mode of X. So the mode, of course, is going to be the one which has the highest probability. Okay, and we can see this is 2 over 26, 5 over 26, 8 over 26, 11 over 26. So that's going to be 4. So the mode is the one with the highest probability, which is going to be 4. 4 is the one that has the highest probability. Okay, so there's the answer to part C. One mark, just write down, don't have to show any calculations. Now part D says calculate the variance of 13x minus 6. Now the variance of 13x minus 6. Let's switch those around. So what we can understand from the, uh, what we can understand from coding of data is that the variance is only affected by multiplication because it's to do with um, the spread of data. It's affected by multiplication, division, and not affected by addition and subtraction. So the variance of 13x minus 6 will be equal to, now because variance is the square of standard deviation, we put 13 squared times the variance of x. Now I can work out what the variance of x is from the information that we got here. Okay, the variance of x, remember the variance is equal to the mean of the squares minus the square of the mean. Mean of the squares minus the square of the mean. So the variance of x would be the mean of the squares, which would be like the expected value of x squared, minus the square of the mean, which is like the mean value, which is ex, all squared. So we need to find what ex is, and we need to find what ex squared is. Now for ex, it's just multiplying the probability of each of these um, discrete random variables by the variable itself and add them together. So you have 1 times 1 over 13 plus 2 times 5 over 26 plus 3 times 4 over 13 plus 4 times 11 over 26. Okay, that's going to give the expected value of x. And we have to also find the expected value of x squared, which we're going to do as well. And it's basically the same as this, except we square the x value. So it's going to be 1 squared times 1 over 13 plus 2 squared times 5 over 26 plus 3 squared times 4 over 13 plus 4 squared times 11 over 26. Okay, that will give you the expected value of x squared. That's the mean of the squares, and that's the mean which we're going to square it and give us the variance. So let's work out what this is going to give us. Let's put this in the calculator. We're going to have 1 times 1 over 13, which is 1 over 13. Okay, we're going to have plus 2 times um, 5 over 26. Plus 3 times, we're going to have 4 over 13. have plus 4 times 11 over 26. Okay, so that will give us the expected value of x, which is 40 over 13. 40 over 13. And now we're going to have the expected value of x squared. We're going to go back here, and we're going to just square each of these numbers. This is going to be 4 squared. That's going to be 3 squared. And that's going to be 2 squared. And 1 squared won't make a difference. Okay, so now we're basically finding the mean of the squares, which is going to be equals 135 over 13. Okay, so now we can use our formula. We can say the variance of x is given by 135 
over 13 minus the square of the mean, which is 40 over 13 all squared. So we have this minus 40, 40 over 13 squared. Okay, and that will give us 155 over 169. Okay, that's the variance of x. Now, the variance of 13 minus, is it 13 x minus 6, 13 x minus 6, as we said, is equal to 13 squared times the variance of x, which is going to be equal to um, 13 squared times 155 over 169. Now, 169 and 13 squared are the same thing. That gives you 155, and there's your answer. So we can say the variance of 13x minus 6 is equal to 155. And that is the answer to this question number 7 from the um, January 2024 S1 paper. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the link over here. That will take you to the playlist for this paper. The link over here will take you to the playlist for discrete random variables. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And the link at the top here will take you to the video which tells you how to use my channel to find what you're looking for. Thank you for watching and see you soon.